In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can create a multi-language invoice extracted using Gemini Pro API and Streamlit. So here is the quick demo of how our application works. So first of all, here you can upload an image of an invoice. So I will just click on those files from here and I will just upload this invoice image. I just got this from internet. And now I will just ask a question. Uh, so I can ask a question, what is the amount of the cash received? So if I just ask over here, what is the amount of cash received? So here I'm just asking a question, what is the amount of cash, rece uh, cash received? So now I will just go below down and now I will just click over here, find the answer from the invoice. So it will take my input prompt and it will try to find the answer of this question from this invoice. So I will just click on find the answer from the invoice. Now it's running. So this might take few seconds and you can see over here, we have the response 181.99. So if I just see the amount of cash received is 181.99 and uh, if I just ask, uh, what is the TIN number? So you can see here we have the TIN number. So if I just ask what is the TIN number mentioned in the invoice. So I will just click on find the answer from the invoice. So now it's running. So this might take a few seconds. So TIN number mentioned in the invoice is 321409832. 023. And if I just see over here, uh, this is the same uh, TI number which is mentioned over here. So that's good. So in this way, you can upload uh, other invoices as well. So now you can see that uh, we have, I've just uploaded this uh, one invoice. You can upload invoices in other languages, which include Hindi, Urdu, or Arabic. So it, you can ask any question and it will generate a response as well. So let's see how we can create this Streamlit app. Uh, which is multi-language invoice extractor. So here you can see that I have created a project in PyCharm. So I will just click over here and click on file. So I will just create a requirements.txt file over here. In the requirements.txt file, I will add all the required packages. So as we are creating a streamlit application, so I require streamlit package and then uh, as we will be using creating a multi in language invoice extractor using Gemini Pro, so we will require Google Cash Generative AI package and so Python dash dot environment so that we can load our API key. So now I will just click over here and just install all these three packages. Pip install minus r requirements dot txt. So this will install all the required packages, which I mentioned, which include Streamlit because we are creating a Streamlit app and Google Dash Generative AI because we want uh, to create a multi-language voice structure using Gemini Pro API and to load our API key, Gemini Pro API key, or uh, which is, will be saved in the dot environment file, we will be using Python Dash dot environment package as well. So in the meanwhile, these packages get installed. Let us create a dot type file by the name main dot UI. So now I will just start writing the code over here. In the meanwhile, these packages will be installed into a streamlet as ST. And let's make it up. Then from Google.generative AI. Gen AI. So it, this will be import. Import. Okay. And the other package which I require is. So as I want to, to display the image, so I will require from PIL import image. And then I require OS library package as well. So I will just require all these three four packages, import all the required libraries. Okay, so now along before we go ahead, I will just create a new file dot env file over here. In the dot env file, I will just add my Google AP Gemini Pro model API key. So here I will just add the API key. So let me just go into the browser from here. 
Okay, so now you can see that here I have the API key. So you can just generate your own API key from here. So I've already explained in my previous videos how you can generate your API key. So I will just copy the API key from here. And if you want to generate the API key, you can just create credential in API key. So you can just click over here, so copy this API key. Then you can just go to the PyCharm and then over here you can just add the API key. So that's look perfect, amazing. Then I will just write, okay, so one thing is left from dot environment import load dash dot environment. Then I will just write generative AI dot configure. Here I will just add the API key. So we will be, uh, we will get the API key from this dot environment file. So first I will just write over here, load, load dash. Just write over here node dash dot environment and over here I will just get the API key from this dot env file. So, so over here I will just go to the dot env file and just copy this from here and just add this over here. So now I will just load the Gemini provision model over here. So I will just write model is equal to AI dot generative model. And so Gemini provision model is a multi-model. Uh, what does mean, uh, what does the multi-model mean so that it can accept input in the form of image as well as the text. So this is a multi-model model. So we will be passing the input in the form of invoice. Plus we will also add a question like uh, what kind of information we want to extract from the invoice. Then I will just create a function definite get Gemini response. In the, this function we will have uh, three inputs. One will be the input prompt. So this will be the default prompt which you will set and other will be our input image and the third parameter will be the user input prompt. The input prompt which will be passed by the user. So this input prompt will be the default input prompt and this will be the input prompt which will be passed by the user. And then we have the response over here. So from model dot get Gemini, so we can generate content. And the input, uh, we have the input over here, input from image zero. And the third will be the user input from. And from here, this function will return us response dot text. So this is the function which we updated. Now we'll just create another function over here. So now what we need to do, we need to convert our input image into bytes. So we need to convert our input image into bytes. So for this, I will just create another function over here. Input image to bytes. So here we have the uploaded file over here, the, this is the file the user have uploaded. So this will be an image file. So we will convert the image file into bytes. So the uploaded file is not none, like if the user has uploaded some file. Then we will convert the uploaded file into bytes. So we have the So here we have the uploaded file type. So 
this will return as the uploaded file type. Then here we have the data. And this function will return as the image parts or else if the user doesn't upload the file. So this will raise an error, which is file out found error. And the message will be no file uploaded. Okay, so that's look good. So now we have done with the required functions we need to create. Now we will initialize our stream data app. Initialize the stream app. So here I will just write set dash page dash configure the title of my page stream page app which I've created. So the page title we will be written over here. So the title will be multi language in voice stranger. So this will be a title. So as you know that uh, there are three inputs which we need to pass into this function. So first we will user input prompt, the input prompt which will be passed by the user. So over here, I will just, just copy this name from here and just add this name over here. So we'll ask the user to input their question. So we will just create an input by the name st.text-input. And over there, we will just write user input prompt. And the key parameter will be the input which will be passed by the user. Then in the next part, we will ask the user to upload a file because the second parameter will be the image. So the user will upload an image file, upload image file. So this will be st.file-uploader. So we'll ask the user uh, to upload an image file. So we will add the text, choose an image of the invoice. And the image file can be of type. You can add multiple types, but I will just add three types over here, JPG, JPEG. So these are the most frequently used image that PNG. So if you just upload an image file, which is not of these three types, it will not be accepted. So if the user uploads an image file, so we will display that image file into our streamlit app. And it will be displayed in our streamlit app. So we'll just write image. The caption will be uploaded image. So then we will have a submit button as well. So when the user clicks on the submit button, then we will later write what will happen. So we'll have the submit button and the name of the submit button will be find the answer from the invoice. So now we have this, uh, the user will have passed the question. We have uploaded the image file and now we have the submit button, find the answer from the invoice. So if the user clicks on this button, so then what will happen? So before we do this, uh, let me just uh, add over here. So over here, we have the first parameter input prompt. So let us write over here. I'll just write, so this is a default input prompt. You are an expert in understanding invoices, please 
try to answer the question using the information from the uploaded invoice. So we are done now. So now if the user clicks on the submit button, So first we will convert our uploaded image into bytes. So we will just write over here, input image to bytes. And here we have the uploaded image file saved into this variable. So we will just write input image data is equal to. So we have converted our uploaded image into bytes. Then we will just generate the response over here. So we will just write get Gemini response. So we will have three parameters, input prompt. So this will be the input prompt we have over here. The second will be the input image data. We have this over here. The third will be the user input prompt. So the user input prompt will be saved over here. Okay. So then the user clicks on this sub header response. We are just adding a header or you can add a subheader as well. I might add a subheader over here. And then we'll display the response into our streamlit app. So let's run the streamlit app and see how does it works. So I will just write streamlit run and the name of this file is main.py. And let's see how it works. So I will just click over this link and let me redirect to the Streamlit app over here. So now you can see this. Uh, so first of all, I will just upload a sample invoice. You also can upload an invoice in any language, either it is in Urdu, Hindi, or Arabic. So you can just, I will just write a, the first question which I will be asking in this application. What is the date in this? invoice and let me just click on here find the answer from the invoice so it's running currently okay so this might take few seconds before it generates the response so here we have the date 18 10 2014 so let's see what okay so invoice date is 18 10 2014 so that is correct we have the date over here you can see so so we can ask what is the total amount the amount mentioned in this invoice. So I will just try to find the answer from the invoice. So now let's see what kind of response is being generated. So the total amount mentioned is 182.91. So it's 182.90. Okay, that's fine as well. Uh, so now you can also ask how many items are there and uh, how many, uh, what is the balance and uh, what is the discount mentioned in the invoice. So we can ask what is the discount mentioned in the invoice. So let's see the discount is 0 0.91. I think it's in dollars or so let's see. Okay, so the amount of discount mentioned in the invoice is 0 0.91. So that's correct as well. So in this tutorial, we have created a multi-language invoice extractor using Gemini Pro and Streamlit. Thank you for watching this. Bye-bye.